Hey everyone, Messy Hair here. Today, we're gonna be building an artist canvas, or a canvas frame. Here are the tools and materials we'll be using. Some metal plates to reinforce the wood, screws to hold those in, the wire, these are to hold the wire, some nice wood glue, corner clamps, we have a staple gun, extra staples, a small screwdriver, eye protection, you need eye protection, something to measure with, some pliers, sandpaper just in case, and you're gonna need some of these. They're called canvas pliers. Last but not least, the pencil. To saw the wood, you'll need a saw, but if you have something like this, it will make your life a lot easier. If you don't, use saws. But don't ever use this saw, pile of garbage. Step one, decide what size you want your canvas to be. My canvas here is five feet across. It has infinite length, but I'm gonna go for six feet by four and a half feet. First things first, we're gonna build the frame by the appropriate wood. I'm gonna show you how I measure and cut the corners now. When you look down the barrel of your wood, you can really tell which way it bends. So try to get the straightest part possible. Before you start cutting, make sure you remove any staples so that they don't get caught in the saw and fly out and hit you in the face or something. I'm gonna measure my wood. Then I'm gonna mark my wood. That's where I want it. I want five feet of wood. When I'm marking my wood, I like to write good or something on the side that I'm gonna keep or put an X on the side that is not gonna get used. That way I know where I'm cutting. One more tool I'll be using that I forgot to mention is a triangle, a nice right angle here. I use it to calibrate this saw because it's it's an old saw. The numbers don't really line up with the arrow. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on there. It's not very accurate. So instead of using that, I've developed a method. I just line this up with the blade if it fits snugly. All right, so I think this will cut straight. It'll cut straight enough for my purposes anyways. At this stage, always use eye protection. All right, here we go. They've been sawed to length. Now we're gonna adjust the angle and continue working. Whenever I make any adjustments to the saw or clean anything or attach anything, I always unplug it first. All right, so now I'm just gonna adjust the angle and I wanna get it just perfectly at a nice 45 degree angle. That looks pretty snug. Before I cut, I like to make some guiding lines here just so I know which way I'm gonna be cutting. You'll know if you've cut a decent 45 degree angle when you put it into uh, an angle clamp, a corner clamp, sorry, and you clamp it in. Because if you did not, it, it will not have a closed seam like this. There will be a gap. On to gluing. Gluing corners can be a little bit tricky. The way I like to prepare for it is to put down a little bit of protection, some scrap paper for the glue to drop onto. And the way that I glue it is I like to lock in uh, not everything at once, like say th this top bar and that bottom bar are both fully locked in, but this I can still lift out. So I'll apply the glue, I'll take this out, apply the glue, and then put it back in. So I don't have to adjust both. I'm just, the, the, the concept here is that one is fixed and I'm adjusting the one. So this one is more loose and this one's fixed in. The way that I apply glue is as such. I like to use a popsicle stick or something to make sure the whole surface is covered. That way it gets in all the little recesses and cracks and gets all up in there and you know you're gonna have a good connection. Oh, 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 oh. 
All right, looks like the corners are glued solid. The next step is to add some crossbars in the frames to keep the frames stable and to keep them from buckling. Got my crossbars cut to size. And again, this is so that when you're stretching the canvas on, when you're pulling the canvas, so that the frame itself doesn't buckle. Now we glue. The reason for this uh, string contraption that I have set up here is because these bars are exactly the same size and there was a little bit of space here. So what I did with this string was I got it around the whole frame and I'm tightening up the whole thing to maintain tension uh, while this is gluing. It's basically to pull the frame tight around this bar so that there's no spaces left here. Now to let it dry. Frames are nice and dry. It's time to reinforce the frame with metal plates. simple wrap. Just put the wire through the D-ring and then just wrap it around. This will hold a, a canvas up, but if you really want it to be load bearing, you're gonna have to crimp this wire. Nice frame, ready to go. Gonna stretch some canvas on this guy now. All right, now we're gonna pull some canvas onto this frame right here. This is our roll of canvas. I'm gonna lay it out on the floor and measure it and cut it. All right, we've now measured and cut the canvas. You wanna leave yourself about four inches. That's a good amount. And for this part, the tools you're gonna need are a staple gun and a set of canvas pliers. So let's get cranking. To start yourself off, you're gonna to wanna to fold over the canvas on one of the edges and in the middle, staple it in. Then take yourself on over to the other side and then we're gonna do the same thing. Nice pull, fold it over, staple it in. Now, gonna go over to the side here. Same thing, in the middle, fold over, staple it in. Over to the opposite side, pull that over. And I'm gonna staple that in. Now that we have the canvas started, the way to properly continue stretching it is we're gonna apply the same principle. We're gonna start here and we're gonna build out. We're gonna stretch, staple, stretch, staple, stretch, staple. Go over to the other side, repeat, then this side, then this side. We're gonna set up the camera here so you can check out as I do it. All right, I'm gonna show you how to use this tool. So you wanna get a good grip, you can fold it under like this, grip yourself some canvas. I like to hold down the previous staple just so that it doesn't get pulled up. And so you use this little thing right here against the wood for leverage. So see how that pulls down? And then I hold it with my thumb and I bring the stapler up pop one in there, it's a little bit far. I like to do it maybe like an inch and a half apart. All right, so you wanna fold, fold the canvas, grab hold, use leverage here, pull it down, holding it with my thumb. Okay, so after stretching this canvas, I realized that I've overstretched it. And you can see it's a little bit, you know. So what I'm gonna do, is undo the staples and add a support bar and then re-pull it. So I've glued in an extra support beam. And just to clarify, now I know for a canvas this size, you should always build beams going vertical and horizontal, not just one way, because you don't wanna mess up like me. Now I'm just gonna staple it up on both sides and that'll be done and ready to go. All right, finished. Nice and straight, no longer buckled in. 
looks good. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends. Stay tuned for more stuff.